so meet nina nina is working as sap consultant in a company she is working in the sales department of a company and her job is to create multiple sales orders in a day with a fixed set of data however she need to use different set of materials every time while creating this sales order in sap using a transaction code va01 these materials comes from the excel file yeah they come from excel file we would like to help nina by creating automation of sales order application to reduce the manual effort to reduce the manual effort so that is our goal so let me show you what nina does on day to day life and then i will show you the automation of the work what she what she does and what she want and then we will help her to achieve that so let me head over back so this is the gui screen by the way if you are looking for a uh, sap system server access to practice this scenario you can shoot us an email on server at anubavtrainings.com and then you can request for a server access from our team so that is what you can actually do having said that this is how the gui screen look like and i will now enter va01 that is a standard transaction code so the best way to design an automation is first run through the transaction manually yeah run through any transaction manually first and then you should go and design your automation so here i will enter the order type sales organization distribution channel division and press enter so sales order is nothing but whenever a customer uh, come to our company with any kind of request or intention to buy something then we create a sales order for them it's a confirmed order from the customer side so we need to enter sold to party some company yeah ship to party so some companies let's say ibm is my customer who buy 10000 laptops from us but the headquarter is in us but they would want me to ship these all these laptops to mumbai office right so that is ship to party then after this we have the uh, payment terms these are some mandatory input data which we need in this system we then have the material number so i will enter a material number let's say 167 the material quantity let's say i want to order two pieces and unit of measurement is pc piece piece yeah piece like gram kilogram so that's a unit so this is the basic data and i click on save then i'll get a pop up to confirm the order and i save and a order number gets created at the bottom you can see here fantastic so this is the process what nina is doing manually in his in her company every day so this process we would like to automate using sap gui automation with sap build process automation through a recorder and then uh, uh, once the recording is created i would like to also show you how to tweak the recording to adapt recording in a way that can help you to design and develop your use case and i test again so it should be able to read my excel file correctly so it should retrieve the material information from my excel file and begin my automation so you see it opened the excel it's now reading the material data closes the excel instance i didn't add the close excel instance but it has read the data perhaps and now it's preparing to launch the sap gui logon for our automation and yes it has launched the sap logon it is now logging in with my user id password going to va01 transaction code entered the data nice and voila there there you go there you go it entered all three material and save the order fabulous fabulous guys so this is our automation you can see the logs here yeah all the three records were entered in the sap logon one by one for the materials and that's the true power of automation imagine if nina has to do this entire process herself how much time she would be end up spending to achieve this that's truly amazing so that's the benefit of working with the automation when it comes to working with sapgui automation with sap build process superb 
So I hope you enjoyed this video. So you can also go ahead and try the automation for any of your favorite GUI transaction in your classic ABAP. With that, thank you so much. And that's a wrap on today's class. I will see you in my next episode. And as usual, the Excel and the material, including the entire project, will be available for download into the study material. Thank you with Anubhav signing out. And see you in the next episode. Goodbye.